In late June, in Denali National Park in Alaska, two grizzly bear cubs wrestled on the tundra. Grizzly bears are brown bears, but they're not always brown. They can be white, brown, black, or blonde, like these bears. So color is not a good way to tell a grizzly bear from a black bear. Then what is? Take a look at this bear. Black bears don't have the shoulder hump that this grizzly bear has. The side views of their heads are different, too. Grizzlies curve inward right where the eyes are. A black bear's face slopes downward in a straighter diagonal line. And look at those long curved claws. Those are grizzly claws. Black bears have shorter, darker claws. Years ago, grizzly bears roamed most of North America. Today, in the United States, they can be found in Alaska, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and Washington State. That's it. Grizzly bears were added to the endangered species list in 1975. The Endangered Species Act protects plants and animals and their habitat. Here's a look at bear country in Denali National Park in Alaska. It's important for scientists to know how many grizzly bears there are. That information gives the scientists an idea of how the grizzlies are doing. Do they still need to be protected or not? But how on earth do scientists count wild, dangerous animals that roam all over the place. They have to make sure they don't count black bears, and they also have to make sure they don't count the same bear more than once. Counting grizzly bears has never been easy. In the past, scientists have trapped bears, then given them medicine so they would fall asleep. Once the bear was asleep, scientists attached a special collar. The radio collar made it possible for scientists to estimate the number of bears and to keep track of their locations. Now, with advancements in science, there is a new way to count grizzly bears that doesn't disrupt the bear's life in the wild. On an enormous parcel of land in Montana, scientists constructed hundreds of stations to attract grizzly bears. They collected thousands of samples of grizzly bear hair that was wedged in barbed wire fencing around the stations. Like crime scene evidence, the scientists sent the samples to a lab for DNA processing. Every grizzly bear has different DNA. So, when the work was done, they came up with a reliable population estimate without medicating a single bear. New and exciting discoveries in science have become tools for scientists who devote their lives to studying and protecting wildlife. Music